This is the Gene Pitney Story on Rewind. I'm Jimmy J. I'd like to welcome all the members of the Gene Pitney Fan Club to Rewind. It's my hope that we're presenting Gene in a way that honors his memory. I also hope you'll continue to listen to Rewind on great radio stations around the world. It was October 1964, and another top ten hit, I'm Gonna Be Strong. I can see you're slipping away from me. So afraid I'll plead with you to stay But I'm gonna be strong And let you go your way Our love is gone There's no sense in hope Cause your pity now Would be too much to bear So I'm gonna be strong And pretend I don't care I'm gonna be strong And let you run along Never know, darling, after you kiss me goodbye How I'll break down and cry The story of Gene Pitney continues on Rewind. And still on the phone with me is the singer-songwriter Johnny Tillotson, who had so many hits, including Poetry in Motion. Johnny, tell me about Gene. Well, I first met Gene Pitney in the office of the great songwriter Aaron Schroeder, who wrote Spanish Harlem with Phil Spector, and he wrote, oh, so many Elvis Presley songs. And he wrote, uh, so he was a publisher and a songwriter, and he had discovered Gene Pitney, and Gene Pitney had that great enthusiasm. I met him in the early, early 60s. And uh, he said, I want you to meet this young man. He said, he's a lot like you. And we were both very enthusiastic and very straight ahead. And uh, we were in the music for the right reasons. And he came in and played some some songs for me at the piano, and he, they played me some of his demos. And way back in 1960, he and I became very, very good friends. I was just knocked out by the sound of his voice and how wonderful he was to be around. Hey, Johnny, as you know, Gene would make uh, many TV appearances throughout the 60s on American Bandstand, Hollabaloo, and Shindig. In addition, he continued his staying power on the American charts in 1965 with Al Cooper's song, I Must Be Singing Things. And with me on the phone right now is Al Cooper, not only a great songwriter, but founding member of Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Al, tell me about that first meeting you had with Gene. Uh, I was... In 1960, I was signed to uh, uh, Lark Enterprises, which was Aaron Schroeder's uh, music publishing company. And I was about 16, and I was writing songs. And so I ventured into the Manhattan on uh, a Saturday afternoon. There's usually nobody around. I went in the building, and I went up to the office, and Aaron was there. He was, like, tidying up the office by himself. And... Uh, he, uh, I said, uh, what are you doing? He said, uh, well, I got somebody coming in to audition in about a half hour. He said, why don't you stay and you can listen with me? So at 16, I thought it was very cool to hang with the boss on a Saturday. It couldn't hurt me. And so I did. And this guy came in, and really weird looking. He had like greasy hair and a DA and a salt and pepper jacket and white buck. I never saw those three things on one person before. And he came in and played and sang for us for like two hours. Then he left. And, you know, we have to be poker faced. That's how you do it in the music business. And uh, so Aaron said, what do you think? I said, come on, that guy was unbelievable. I like, you know, like 99% of those songs. And the, what a great singer he was. He said, well, we might have to change his name. I said, it doesn't matter what you call him. He's going to be like a really big star. And uh, there it was. And so we became 
really good friends, and uh, I played on some of his records. What songs did he record of yours? Uh, well, the biggest one was I Must Be Seeing Things. Isn't that my girl? And is that my best friend? Aren't they walking much too close together and it don't look like they're talking about the weather? I can see him kissing her And I feel my poor heart Slowly breaking that you anything If only I was mistaken Now joining me on the Gene Pitney special is Gary Rue. Gary was not only Gene Pitney's musical director, but whose recording credits include Lost in the Shuffle by Helen Reddy, which is included in the European release of her Greatest Hits compilation. Gary, you were with Gene for 20 years as his musical director. 20 years, and I didn't know that until the other day I was rummaging through my closet and I found an 87-88 tour jacket. And I thought, geez, that long? And then I remembered that I'd gotten it a year after I started with him. So yeah, it would have been 20 years in June. What was the most memorable thing you think you've ever done with Gene as his musical director? Two things, widely disparate situations. Um, playing on a park and rec platform in Miles City, Montana in the rain, Gene in a jumpsuit, um, and the sax player, we had to look for about two weeks to find a sax player out there, and we finally found one who was a DJ at the local radio station. He spent more time waving to the audience than playing the part, and then of course, the most memorable was Carnegie Hall, the day they bombed the Trade Center the first time, February 23rd, 93, I believe it was. Sold out house. So, those two things. And everything in between, everything in between. Gary, in 1965, Gene showed his vocal versatility when he joined forces with country legend George Jones, as well as singing with Melba Montgomery. He also played the famed Grand Old Opry in Nashville with the likes of Buck Owens, Roy Clark, and Eddie Arnold. Gene and George Jones placed four songs on the country charts. Here's another, Last Chance to Turn Around. The wheels of my old car are turning, burning up the highway. Tonight that girl of mine will be yearning for not learning to see things my way. She hurt me for the very last time, I'm not hanging around. behind I'm getting out of town I won't back down I won't back down Last exit to Brooklyn Last chance to turn around Wheels of mine covering ground Last night I thought that girl Lying, trying to deceive me And now all of these tears She's crying, I'm not buying You better believe me was mine alone Our love would never die I'm leaving now for parts unknown I saw with that guy That's the reason 
The story of Gene Pitney continues with Chubby Checker, Johnny Tillinson, Gary Rue, and more when Rewind continues. Suitcase.com. Suitcase.com is the traveler's superstore. Suitcase. For brand name luggage at discount prices, you can't beat the values at suitcase.com. Suitcase.com. They have a huge selection of brand name luggage to choose from. Trusted names like Samsonite, Hartman, Travel Pro, and Vera Bradley. Suitcase. Need a new rolling carry on case? They've got the latest models in stock with suit carriers and inline skate wheels. Looking for a new soft brief or computer bag? They've got hundreds of styles available with removable padded computer protection. Suitcase.com. Trying to keep the kids in style for the coming school year? They've got the latest, coolest youth fashions from Kipling and Samsonite. Leather goods, wallets, corporate gifts, cross pens, they've got it all in stock at discount prices. But what about service? How about free standard shipping in the continental U.S. on all orders over 50 bucks and free returns? The name is so easy to remember, too. Suitcase.com. For the best luggage deals online, you just can't beat. Suitcase.com. 